Let's talk about a bit of a touchy topic sometimes, uh, weight loss and weight gain when you're training. Now, if you're fairly new to the training regime, you're jumping into a training program and suddenly you're doing all this volume or mileage uh, that you haven't done before, you may notice that you start to lose a little bit of weight. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, you know, the way weight loss and gain works is pretty simple. It's calories in versus calories out. What we consume are calories in, and what we burn when we do exercise or move or just live through the day are calories out. And that's always in a state of flux. So if you consume more calories than you're burning, well, then you'll put on weight. And if you burn more calories than you're consuming, then you will probably lose weight. Now, there are some medical conditions. I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm not an expert in those. There are some medical conditions that make that balance kind of go out of whack, but typically calories in versus calories out. Now, let's say that you're the type of person, uh, you're starting to train a lot and the pounds are coming off. One thing you have to be really, really careful with is that you don't get into this trap that losing more weight is a good thing. Because when we lose too much weight, it means that we're in an energy deficit all the time. And when you're in an energy deficit, that might mean you're not getting the nutrition and calories that you need to actually perform at your best. So you have to be really careful if you're sliding down that uh, slide too far. Ultimately, what we want for you is to perform your very best on the bike. And the best way to do that is to make sure that you're fueled and energized in a way that maximizes your ability uh, to create power and go fast and feel good. I mean, don't forget that, right? We also want to feel good. And the nutrients that we put into our body are a big part of that. Okay, now on the flip side, uh, let's say you're having trouble uh, losing weight, um, but you want to maybe lose a few pounds. Um, that calories in versus calories out ratio is the most important thing. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they train is they think that they lean on the calories out part. So they train and train and train and train and train. And they think while they're training, especially on the long rides or long runs or whatever they're doing, that they should eat nothing, right? So they kind of starve themselves. But here's what happens. If you go too much in a deficit, we bonk or we get so low on muscle glycogen that we overcompensate at the other end. So we typically come home and we just gorge ourselves. And if we needed a thousand calories to replace what we did, we might eat 1500 calories because we're just so ravenously hungry. So it's not a good strategy to starve yourself during long, hard workouts or a long, hard race, and then overcompensate when you get back. You want to st stay on top of your nutrition. Not only will you perform better in the moment, but you won't overcompensate as much when you get home. You know, if you need 500 calories to replace what you lost on that ride, you'll probably eat close to 500 calories. Um, you won't kind of be in such a hole that you feel so ravenous to get there. Um, so that is one of the mistakes that people who are really desperate to maybe lose weight, maybe one of the traps they fall into is trying to starve themselves and it, it backfires totally. So the weight loss, weight gain equation, uh, I always recommend that you go see an expert, so a nutritionist or a naturopath, or somebody who works in that space and really understands that space. And not only that, but they can look at you and your body type and your age and all those other factors, and they can really recommend something that's uh, good for you to do personally. But really, usually what it comes down to is calories in versus calories out. Uh, if you're training a lot, you really need good nutrition. Do not starve yourself. Like good nutrition, nutrient dense foods, whole foods, those are all good things. You need to put them in your body every day and you'll have a way better experience in this journey. B78 Endurance Hub, we are so lucky to have in our master class roster, Dr. Kim McQueen. Now, Dr. McQueen uh, is one of the leading experts in Canada in sport nutri nutrition specifically. She's worked with high-end rugby players, the national rowing team. She was my go-to person when I was racing an Ironman. She's ultimately one of the people that helped me win an Ironman title. Dr. Dr. McQueen has a whole bunch of episodes on the B78 Endurance Hub. Uh, we're so lucky to have her there. She's sharing her experience and her knowledge that will help you uh, be a better athlete.